even though their seeds are packed with cyanide. Apples are more likely to keep that doctor away than have you calling 911. Welcome to Superfoods. And don't worry, you'd need to ingest around a half a cup of apple seeds all at once to poison yourself. If you swallow a seed here and there, you're not going to be in trouble. We can't explain why it took an apple falling on Newton's head for scientists to figure out gravity. But today we'll explain why an apple really will help keep you out of that doctor's office. There's archaeological evidence that people have been eating apples since 6500 BC, making it one of the oldest superfoods. Plus, with Americans consuming over 50 pounds of fresh raw apples each year, they're one of the most popular superfoods out there. Apples originated in the region between the Black and Caspian Sea. They're native to Georgia and Armenia, but they've been found in ancient sites from China to Israel to Iran. Most Americans only eat 14 grams of fiber a day, around half the daily recommended value. A single apple is also as high in fiber as a cup of oat bran. One apple has 21% of the fiber you need in a day, or 5.4 grams. Two-thirds of this fiber, along with most of the vitamins in apples, are found in the peel. So, if you're snacking, don't peel those apples. You'll miss out on the benefits including lower blood pressure and digestive system regularity. Apples contain high levels of boron, up to 2.5 milligrams an apple. That might not seem like a lot, but the National Institute of Health says that people only need 1 to 3 milligrams of boron a day to increase their brain function. Along with boron, apples contain a special antioxidant, cordycetin. The American Journal of Clinical Nutrition says that cordycetin is shown to advance brain function and lower risk of Parkinson's disease. And if that weren't enough, a study done at the University of Rio de Janeiro has found that people who eat three apples a day as part of their diet lose almost twice the amount of weight as those who ate other fruits for daily snacks. For today's superfoods comparison, we're comparing apples and oranges. We're comparing a small apple to a small orange, each three inches in diameter. Apples have five grams of fiber, while oranges have three grams. Apples' vitamin C content is 10.3 milligrams, while oranges have 97.9 milligrams. And finally, apple sugar content is 15 grams, whereas oranges have 18 grams. Unlike tomatoes, apples are pretty good for most of the year. Apples are picked in the late summer and early fall. If you want a truly ripe apple with really good texture, get apples between August and October. A truly ripe apple will be extremely fragrant. Put slight pressure on the apple, up near the stem end of the apple, and sniff. You should get a strong apple scent right away. Rounder apples tend to be more flavorful than longer apples. Red Delicious apples and other long varieties are pretty to look at, but they won't taste as good as Gala's. As with most fruits, avoid any apples with noticeable bruising or discoloration. 